Okay, we're going to move on to the work plan. That's our the task that we can never shake. You have some paperwork in your packets here, a couple of surveys, some emails that have come on on different things. We're not going to discuss these at all. Look through them at your, uh, in your spare time here. What we're going to do is start out with uh, public uh, comment on this item. So this is to do with our work plan. The first one up is Don Galliardi. And that will be followed by um, Steve Spivak. Thank you, uh, Chairman Colstad and, uh, and members of the Commission. Good evening. I'm Don Galliardi. I live here in downtown District 3. I'm here uh, speaking on behalf of the Stop Illegal Fireworks Committee. You should have as part of your packets an email from the chair of the committee, Suzanne Marone, who's my neighbor a few blocks down the street. Also, Tina Morrell, who lives in the downtown Vendome neighborhood. They've written about urging you to prioritize this issue of stopping illegal fireworks. Uh, I'm here to also add my voice to that. This is a problem that afflicts all of our districts, neighborhoods across the city. Uh, it's not as substantial an issue as some of the other priorities that I see, stopping crime generally, uh, combating homelessness, um, and sometimes it gets lost in the mix. I can assure you um, that I know the city council or city leaders are aware of the problem of homelessness. As you can see, they're trying to address it, uh, perhaps belatedly. Uh, they're constantly concerned about crime in the city, staffing the police department. Um, so while these are certainly very worthy goals, I'm not sure that the Neighborhoods Commission voice uh, will be heard above what's already a din. But I can tell you this, unless neighbors across the city um, affirm to our city leaders that this is an important issue in stopping illegal fireworks, which is a real serious quality of life issue, it's going to get lost in the mix. So I'm hoping you'll consider prioritizing it. It's very important, and I think we as neighbors can be effective in, in helping to solve the issue. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Dr. Steve? Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the Commission. I'm Steve Spivak from District 2. Uh, you've already heard the arguments pro and con fireworks. Don't need to really bring it up again, although most of your districts, and I've heard a great deal of passion expressed here in this room from the Commission saying that something needs to be done. As Mr. Galliardi so eloquently said, it's the law now. The problem is we have a problem with enforcement. Um, there are not enough police to do the job. So there are some other aspects of enforcement being considered. The City Council is intent on solving the problem. We're going to need uh, some very strong tactics. The thing about the Neighborhoods Commission that brings me here is your leadership role in making sure that the Council and the City Departments stay on top of this issue. It is one that crosses both code enforcement and public safety, and therefore falls within the charges that you oversee. I urge you to make the enforcement of the anti-fireworks law a top priority for your considerations this year. The Commission's power is to hold the Council's feet to the fire, letting them know that the neighborhoods are united in wanting to see this problem solved. Yes, it's of short duration, but it's a problem area that deserves to be addressed. And with your help, the neighborhoods can express themselves to the point where the council will always be mindful that someone is watching. So I ask you, please, to make the enforcement of illegal fireworks a top priority. Specific tactics will be coming from groups such as the ones that appear tonight, and I'll make my suggestions through our uh, distinguished representatives from District 2. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Steve. Okay, let's get to work on this uh, work plan. So what we've got here, this is, came up from last time, is there are 18 different items on this plan. Our first step is going to be to strip that down to half. And the way we're going to do that is just go down top to bottom and show up your thing. If you want to keep it, show the green side. And if you don't want to keep it, show the red side. 
So we're going to need on this first round, we're going to need two thirds of us here to vote that it's there. And there are, how many did I count? And we're going to need something like 10 yes votes for to keep it on there. Okay. If you don't want to do it, vote it down. We've got to get this thing down quickly. Let me start. We don't need you there yet, uh, Nicole. Let me start with the, um, on the voice of the community. I think if we look at collecting community input and then communicating back to the community, those are really part of that. So what we can do, I think, is actually uh, throw those two off the list right away. Puts us down to 16, so we don't have quite as far to go. Can I get a vote on that, a yes or a no? We, we have comments. Okay. Okay. So we wouldn't have any comments. We, we, we didn't beat this enough last time. Okay. We'll have to go. Hold on, just one second. I was up and now I'm back. Hold on. Commissioner Smanick. 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 Oh, Smanick. Excuse me. Um, I just was curious as to how we went from the five that we had the first week. The first meeting in August, the, the 18. Okay, the problem that we had the first week was everything was packed up into one broad sort of crime and safety thing. And our job last month, remember, was to pull that apart and bring it back down to constituent parts. Right, but so we also added items in that didn't need to be added in because they'd already been decided at the August meeting. You, you know, we, we, what we did last month is done, so we just need to move forward. Right, and I just am voicing... My my objection. My well, yeah, my objection to the fact that it grew so much, especially when we had decided that some of the items we couldn't address, or had already been addressed, or were being addressed by city council and by other commissions. Mr. Parrish. I'm on Parrish District Nine. Um, uh, a lot of these these are all. Everybody's all, a lot of backing for all of these. Uh, the mayor was in our neighborhood doing a, an event, and I took a moment to ask him if, you know, there's a lot of things around safety that people are asking about. Is there any area that you think would be a more impactful that the neighborhood commission could address? And he actually gave me two. Uh, one was the support of the expansion of the roles of the community service officers to help offload the sworn officers of the police. So by the um, community service officers cost much less than our sworn officers, and by offloading that, it might help offload them, I guess that's the word. Uh, second one was that, um, that we could do something to call the uh, Santa Clara County Ambulance Contractors or to, um, to reduce their response times and to stop relying on the San Jose Fire Department as the first responders for fire trucks manned with four uh, firemen needing to fill the void when the county uh, ambulances are not responding in a timely manner. And um, uh, the mayor believes this is a big drain on our fire responders and that it uh, is only needed because of the lack of response of the Santa Clara County contracting ambulance companies. So I thought I'd give you guys that feedback. Thank you. Um, I can't stress enough how important homelessness is. That's a topic that hits every district, this whole entire city. It's so important that if we were to come up with ways to address homelessness, we could also come up with ways to address, like I mentioned earlier, the police load. Seventy-five to eighty-five percent of all police calls and all of all the reports that they do are involved homelessness. I just spoke with San Jose Police about that today. It's a major, major, major problem, and that's in districts three, six, and seven, a little less than two, but it's major throughout the entire city. Throughout the entire city wide, other than those three, four districts, you're looking at about 45, 50% of all calls involving homelessness. It is such an important issue. I handed out that form that I gave everybody for a reason. If you take a look at it, those graphs, those bars, 92% roughly are all housed in three districts. You know, last year we took this on, this commission addressed homelessness in its entirety, which, you know, for decades and centuries people haven't been able to figure out. But if we stop and look at this one issue, this one little area, okay, segregation, spreading and sharing the load amongst all districts, we can move that needle just a little bit. 
Thank you, Commissioner Semanic. Um, Semanic, District 4. Uh, just to expedite this process, the sheet that was sent out the last two months was around the macro areas, as I call it. So I don't think we need to spend time going over this again. I think your sheet was the macro areas, and it includes homeless. It includes uh, policing. It includes crime and safety. It includes all these things that we're talking about. So I think in the spirit of getting this done, why don't we go by the list that you presented the last two months? Why do we have to go back to this list? A lot of these subtopics are subtopics of what's on here. So I think our voting should be along these lines. Yeah, we need more defined topics to go on the work plan. Uh, well, so that's, that's uh, you know, memory is the second thing to go, but my memory tells me we were talking for the last two months on these topics that are on the sheet that you presented. I'm trying to make this easy here, because we're making it too hard. Yeah, folks, if you've already spoken or if you don't want to speak, to turn your little gizmo down. Great. Thanks. Commissioner, forgive me. Commissioner Wilkins. Wilkins, thank you. Forgive me. That's a, a, a easy question. Uh, you gave us, we have four votes for the second round. How many votes on the first round, assuming we do that? Is it, uh, we're kind of trying to get it down by half. Do you have eight? We're going to strip this down to nine items, and then you'll vote, and you get to pick any four of those leftover nine items. But we're going to vote to get strip which ones uh, down to the nine. We're going to vote just sort of a straw vote using our things here to strip it down to nine. And no limit on the votes on, on that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Commissioner yeah. Espinosa, did you have a comment? Um, I don't see... Can you use your microphone, Mark? I don't see um, uh, illegal dumping. I think that's a major. It's 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 okay, it's a one. Okay, no problem. Commissioner Estrada. I, uh, I, I just want to echo something that was said earlier by the chair, which was uh, decisions were made two months ago and then last month. And so if we want to be efficient, we should move forward with what we already decided rather than uh, rehashing. Uh, here, here. We've already discussed. I'm not saying I agree entirely, and I wasn't here two meetings ago, and so um, I just accept what the commission has decided. So here we are at this point, and I agree with uh, the chair that it would be good to consolidate things that are one. Um, and I would go further. I would say that under communications, voice of the community, collecting community input, communicating back to the community, and whole range of communication media is all communications back and forth. And so I would just say, hey, let's lump the four into one, um, yes. and then we yes. can vote that yes. way. So yes. um, I don't know if additional feedback is required on that, or if I can just make a motion to do well, that. Well, I think that echoes what I was saying. Folks, yes. please, re please be recognized. Thank you. Mr. Strada, Commissioner, are you complete? I am. Commissioner Hernandez. Um, I'm doing the same way. Yeah, and just to revisit uh, on this homeless, um, Commissioner Fleming's uh, comments that he handed on his leaflet. Uh, and what struck me about this, and then also the survey, I, I believe Juan, you did uh, on, on this, on what we should be addressing. Uh, the four items there, it's the number one issue uh, for San Jose surveys, number one topic, neighborhood association. Uh, maybe the, out of this commission, we can make a recommendation to the mayor's office, to the council, that perhaps they ought to have a task force. This is a, 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 a major item that needs to be addressed, and, and on a level that is bigger than this, you know, for us to tackle. Mm -hmm. And uh, might be appropriate look at it and make that recommendation to the council and to the mayor that you get a, a task force, counties involved. There's, there's many different entities involved in dealing with this. The NGOs that we're here today, um, and it needs a coordinated effort. Thank you. Sorry, Any further? Just to be, Commissioner Estrada, your, our new little thing. No? Oh, yeah. upside down. Thanks so much. Thanks. Okay, we're, we're going to reduce this list down to the nine, like I said, and I think uh, Juan has just uh, suggested that we take the top four in the communications thing and turn that into one, which is voice of the community. Does that work for everybody? Is it? Any objections to it? Great. Okay, that's where we'll start. Back 
problem also makes me shake. Yeah. 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 Say, can, can you make it mirror your screen on the thing? I, I don't know how. Ah, that's okay. okay, so if you just format paint those cross dot X's and then see where the cross dot X's are at the bottom. Down at the bottom underneath the other. Yeah, we'll right there. I think it's showing on your screen also. Can you? Oh, well, here we go. So maybe that's the same. What'd you say? Click on the X's and then go to the top and format paint. Do it on the paper. Sorry. So, uh, did you got the marker, Nicole? Yeah. Okay, so cross out collecting community input, communicating back to the community, and then the whole range. Okay, we're going to start up at the top, and basically, there it's going to take 10 votes to keep something up on here. Okay, community energy. How many people want to have community energy? No. No. Do we have 10 yeses? No, we do not. Okay, great. So that's off. Study how the smart city vision meshes with the, uh, our skill set here in the commission. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one knows. Okay, that's off. Uh, Roadshow. Yes, red is no. Was that part of communication? Yes. Yeah, yeah oh, that's okay. to take it out on the show. On the road. So we're just agreeing to so communication. One, two, three, four, four. Solid, that's on. Skip on to digital divide. Do we want to take on digital divide? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's enough. That's off. Increase police department effectiveness. One, two, two no's. Okay, that stays on. Next is crime prevention. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's off. Ann, are you? I'm, I'm doing that. Abstaining. You're abstaining? Okay. Um, where are we going? Uh, community policing. One, two, no, three, no. That's on. Massage parlors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's off. Homelessness. Well, unanimous this time, right? No. Oh, one no, one no. That's okay. That stays on. It's two no's. It stays on. Two no's. Okay. I'm sorry. It stays on. Stays on. Thank you. Public safety staffing. This is getting more cops and fire in there. One, two. Okay, that stays on. Illegal fireworks. One, two, three. Four no's. That stays on. Anne, are you? What's your? That's a five. Okay, it's five. Stays on. Uh, stays on. Development notice saying um, this is another one where we might be able to combine this. You know, whether it's not English or just increasing the notice thing, noticing radii, just actually better noticing from uh, from the uh, planning department. That's code enforcement, and that's what that those two, the development noticing. Falls under building code enforcement. They are the same. Planning building code enforcement. Yeah, when well, yeah. we discussed it, we just discussed uh -huh. it as. A so should we remove those two and just call, call it development noticing? Who's for that? Not for that. Approved. Approved. Approved development notice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Put so the word improved in front of that. That's a great so idea. So just approved. cross out the two below it, and then the last one is illegal dumping. Unanimous, I think 
the only one that got unanimous. You can tell what the issues are. Okay, how many do we have left there then? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did you count voices? No, we did eight. And did you do nine? Perfect. Okay. Five minutes. Get up there and stick your stickers on. I'm a numbers guy. What I would like you to do is put your green one as your most important thing, and then down the list as it shows on the right-hand side. This isn't a right or wrong. If you can't make up your mind, don't matter. But I'm kind of curious to see how this weights out a little bit. So you're saying, oh, I Yeah, she's got something. I would like you to do it, but if you don't want to do it, it's not the end of the world.
going to be, who would like to lead one of these? We want to get some names assigned to these categories as who would actually be willing to lead things through. Commissioner um, Fleming. Yeah, I'd like to lead homelessness. Okay, what we'll do is we'll go down top to bottom, the same as we did before. So I want to have some, who wants to lead it? And if nobody wants to lead it, it's going to have to drop off the list. We need somebody to step up and actually manage the project. If not, then we'll do. Uh, we'll get the other volunteers. So we'll start with voice of the community. Who would like to lead the voice of the community? Can I, question. Question. Can voice of the community be combined with roadshow? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Just check. Thank you, friends. Commissioner Wilson. Welcome. Commissioner Wilson, sister to that volunteer. Thanks. So you would you would chair the yes, voice of the community? Uh, I, I, I thought we are going to narrow it down to five. Uh, why sub community does not uh, come under five? No, we're not there. We're done five. We're, we're, no, we'll we'll see where we go when we're done with this next step. Oh, okay. I thought first we get down to five and then assign people. No, we want to get volunteers first because that might control whether people uh, oh. makes the five. If nobody wants to chair something like this, then it doesn't get to make the list. Okay. So, voice of the community is going to be chaired by uh, Commissioner Wilkins. Who would, who's, uh, let's see, him raise a hand. So who would like to be on that? Maybe raise your. You ready to 
Are we making firm commitments at this time, or are we just trying to figure out where we can apply the business? There might be a little fiddling back and forth, but yeah, it ought to be a commitment. Yes. Hi there. So I wasn't able to capture all that in the time that was available. So chairing, chairing Voice of the Community is Commissioner Wilkins. Volunteering to be on that commission is Commissioner Fleming. Oh, hold, hold questions. It was a real quick one. Yes. How many of these can we vote for? How many do you have time to produce? Okay, thank you. Please remind me your name, Commissioner. Henry. Commissioner Henry. So you're beyond me. Great. Commissioner Berrigan. Commissioner Smith. Great, thank you. Commissioner Navarro. Anyone else for me? Yes. Point clarification. What's the difference between increasing police PD effectiveness and public safety staffing? Let's see if someone let's see if someone volunteers to lead that, and then let's. No, get there's into two that. different categories. I'm saying, are these ones we could combine? Is I guess my question. We, question. we can leave that up to the two uh, subcommittees to figure out what they want to do. That to be honest with you. effectiveness is you know, community policing type things. You know, doing more with less. Staffing is finding the funding and the. Uh, people to increase the actual number of bodies. And then you have community policing, which is something. They're all very related, yes. Mr. Chair, uh, let me just point a point of clarification because uh, um, uh, it seems like what you're talking about right now is you're asking for volunteer leads on these projects, but you also seem to be intermingling some comments about forming committees. Um, and I just want to clarify. Um, for the attorney's directions that um, once your work plan is, is, is approved by rules and by council, um, I think at that time would be the appropriate time for you to actually discuss whether or not you want to form ad hoc committees for each of these various um, uh, topic areas. Also, um, as you seem to be indicating uh, through your leadership that um, uh, committees seem to be the way to go, um, understand that um, um, also you have the opportunity at a, at a commission meeting to actually take on a topic and discuss it without forming a committee. In other words, if you want to talk about a particular subject area there and you want to agendize it for a full discussion at a meeting, you may not need to form a committee. Uh, I just want to remind the commission and yourself that those are opportunities rather than just simply signaling that the formation of committees will be occurring as part of the process that you seem to be putting together right now. Okay, thank you. Roadshow, who would like to lead the roadshow? <coughs> Nobody in the Commissioner, so do you have a comment, Commissioner Barron? Yes. Commissioner Barron, volunteers to lead it. That it's closely related. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought it was going to be combined. Okay. Great. Okay. Any other volunteers that would uh, want to spend some time on that, whether that it's done in a committee, however that gets done? Navarro. Thank you. Okay. Next is increased PD effectiveness, whatever that means. Hmm. Anybody would like to lead that process? No? Okay. Then it should drop off the list. Is that an agreement? If we don't have anybody who actually wants to put the effort into it? Yes, I agree. I'll volunteer. Okay, Strata. Any other volunteers to work on that one? I'll do it. Okay. Next is community policing. I'll lead that. Other people who would be interested? Community policing. Why why are we continuing in this vein when we were just instructed to go about it a different way? We're looking for the degree of interest so that we can have that input whether it makes sense. Right, but we were we were just instructed to follow a different route. This we're not creating committees right now, Commissioner. Okay. We're just looking for levels of interest and trying to understand whether this is of marginal interest to a few people or people are willing to invest the time in it. But that's because, why we just voted with the dots. But we're also finding that people don't want to actually put any effort into it. So wanting to do something and being willing to do something are two different things. Uh, homelessness. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Do we have anyone else for community policing? 
I just am a little confused, but I, I guess I would like to pick the top ones and figure out what committee I'm going to work on before we go through the ones that got one, two, and three, four votes. So. And I have a question, but I'm waiting to be called on, so I'm not sure of the process right now. I'm sorry, what was your comment? No, no, I, I have a question, and I see that other commissioners are just asking questions as opposed to, right, I raised it, and then I thought we were doing questions. So. I'm sorry about that. Oh, no, 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 I, I'm just saying, um, we should all either wait until this process is complete, mm -hmm. or let's ask questions one or the other. Great, thank you. Yeah, what the attempt is here is to see whether we're ready to put our money where our mouth is. That's what we're trying to do right now. And if we're, if we're not, then we'll just drop that down the list. So this is just to go through and see where the effort is. I've asked uh, Commissioner Sika, Commissioner Estrada, and Mr. Cunningham, what does it take to lead one of these subcommittees if it's done that way? How many, how many hours a week? Uh, at least uh, two hours uh, for the chair a week should be spent. And uh, uh, my feeling is that four hours is the appropriate one. For Commissioner Estrada, how much time are we asking the people to do this here? I'm going to qualify the answer by saying uh, we don't know if we will have ad hoc committees for each of these, but if we did, I agree with him. If you do form one, then you will. Um, later, we can talk about the different kinds of work products, one of which may not be um, a committee. Thank you. Commissioner Cunningham. There is on, on what, you know, homelessness ad hoc versus, uh, homelessness ad hoc versus, you know, uh, voice of the people or something like that, voice of the community, it's, you know, it's, it's apples and oranges. So. Okay. Let's, let's just move through this piece as quickly as yes. possible, and then we can get to other things. So anybody interested in working on community policing other than Nicole? No? Okay. See, I think that that lets us know whether it should be on the top of the list or not. Uh, next is homelessness. Lee is Fleming. Any others? Actually, I'd be willing to work on that. Samanic, Henry. Commissioner okay. Hernandez as well. Yep, here we have her. Mm. Yep. Okay, illegal fireworks. Who would, would be interested in leading that effort? The public safety. Oh, I'm sorry, public safety staffing. Would you like to lead that if it yes. comes to that? Okay. And Carter? Okay. Oh, I'm willing to help. Any others? Samansky. Okay. okay. Anybody else on that? Illegal fireworks. Who would be interested in leading illegal fireworks? Commissioner Berrigan. Carter. Carter. It's in that. I'm interested in that. Wilkins. Wilkins. Noticing, I know that Commissioner Martin, who's not here today, is very interested in leading that. It's he's an architect; it's his thing, so we'll put him down as the lead. And I'm also interested in participating. Parish, Jimona, Fleming. Any others? Fernandez. Fernandez sorry. And finally, illegal dumping. Mr. Espinosa would be the lead on that. Is that what you're talking about? Okay. And I definitely want to help on that. Berrigan. Andreas. Wow. So just to make a count on illegal dumping, uh, Commissioner Espinosa is leading. Thank you. Commissioner Berrigan, Commissioner Andreas, Commissioner Carter, Commissioner Hernandez. Anyone else on that? Thank you. Okay, so the results of this basically are on uh, community policing. Uh, Commissioner Andreas is interested in leading it, but there's nobody else wants to participate. So the question is, does it stay on the list or do we drop it off? In increasing PD effectiveness, Commissioner Estrada wants to lead it, but, uh, and Commissioner Fleming wants to help, but nobody else. Does that stay on or does that drop off? Commissioner Estrada, do you have a question? I, I do. I, I have a question for staff, and I'm, I'm just looking for clarification. I don't need a lot of details, but... Is it possible that the commission presents, let's say, six items to the committee uh, that will decide our work plan and that the committee might reject one or more? And I'm just wondering because then we would want to do more, propose more rather than less. 
think probably as a matter of, of a truism, um, what the commission proposes will more likely go forward. Okay. Um, so, um, I, I think the only detriment would be if the council reviewed it and you saw so many items on there that they felt it was unmanageable for you to achieve anything. Thank you. Commissioner Samantha, question? Okay, and then the third one that didn't get much uh, interest was Roadshow. We have Commissioner Berrigan as the uh, lead, but only one volunteer on that. I thought we were going to combine that with the voice of the community. We'll just put that all into one? Yeah, okay, yeah. so we'll drop off of here then. Okay. Hopefully this will all work out. So we're going to drop Roadshow, PD Effectiveness, and Community Policing. Seven items is what we end up with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, What's seven, right? development? That's development noticing. So, so increased noticing and development should maybe together? Is it increase? Is that no, it's the radius. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a mistake. Thank you. So that should just be one. Yeah. Yes, it should just be one. Okay, so we have six items. Can we discuss the increase motion? Did you ask about that one? Yeah. I thought we played that in. It's all under development notice. Okay, six items. Do we want to take all six, or do we want to drop the bottom one off, which would be the voice of the community, which I know we don't want to drop off? Commissioner Strada? So, as Ernest noted earlier, um, the actions that we choose to take on any one of these topics could vary, and so I would be in favor of keeping all six. And, for example, on one we might just have staff present, make a recommendation, and we could choose to support it or not. And I'm not saying that that applies to any of these, I'm just saying that that's an option. Um, there's the ad hoc committee, does a whole lot of work and presents something, or takes some other action. So, um, I, this wouldn't be a case where we would necessarily form an ad hoc committee for all six items. That's true. Is that a motion? Can we take that as a motion? Um, take the top six? I, I motion that we take the six that we have narrowed it down to and present them as our... It's, no, it's six. Ignore six. them. Here's a bug in it. The increasing noticing is wrong. Oh, and present it as our proposed work plan with the understanding that the lever, level of effort uh, per category uh, would be determined at a later date. Great. I have a second. I'll second that. Okay, Commissioner Hernandez, first and second. Any more discussion on this? Okay. All in favor? Aye. I got it. My daughter's nine months pregnant and feels the same here. Thank you. <laughs> Unanimous. No, it Tell a woman Thank you very much. I know this has been painful, but we have another one of these coming actually in June. So by then we'll have gotten very good at this.